Hey guys, what's going on? Sam Vosworth here. Today I'm going to be giving you an update of the YouTube channel and an update on my health and stuff like that and ideas of videos that I want to post in the future. I'm going to try and not talk too fast because I always do. always get comments saying I talk at a million miles an hour so I'll try and slow it down. But anyway, let's get to it. Also, if you do like this video or any of my videos, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And also click like if you like this video. It would really help me out and help more people see the videos. So thank you for that. Anyway, first thing I want to talk about is basically just that I'm really, really struggling with my health at the minute. Those of you who have seen my disability videos will know that I do have a disability called Charcot Marie Tooth Disease or CMT. I'll put a link to the playlist of all my disability videos if, if you haven't heard about this uh, or know that I have a disability. It'll either be up in this corner or this corner. I can never remember which one it is. It'll be somewhere up here. But basically lately it's just been getting really, really hard to manage. I've been in a lot of pain. I'm really struggling to get out the house. Like the past few months I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I've actually gone out and done something. Uh, and I've been going to bed at like 5am, getting up at 4pm, just not, just not really living my life, you know, just spending as much of it in the house and in bed and just not doing anything. You'll notice I haven't really posted that many music videos or videos at all on my YouTube channel. Uh, just because setting my gear up has become so difficult and just getting motivated and inspired has been hard. So, I've been struggling. You know, I keep a pretty positive outlook on the outside and I think, I know there's been some controversy on YouTube in the past about people sort of just keeping the facade of positivity and that everything's always good and everything's always happy and that's kind of lying to your, to your followers and your subscribers and stuff and I don't want to do that because while I am a positive person, even through this past few months I've been, you know, trying to keep as positive as I can but I think at times you do have to kind of just take stock of how things are going and I don't want to lie to you guys because I know a lot of people that subscribe to me uh, have a disability too, you found me through my disability videos or my CMT videos and I don't want you to think that like I'm this incredible disability warrior who just constantly fights through everything I never have any bad days, that's not true, I have plenty of bad days as well, I just like to try and be as positive as I can because I think you have to be. I spent two years when I first got diagnosed uh, after a knee dislocation where I was pretty much stuck in the house all the time, N not through choice, like I literally couldn't get out because I was in a cast. And I spent a good couple of years then just, you know, dwelling on all the bad things in my life and it, w it wasn't good and I've got past that, I'd like to think now. But obviously, you still have down days, you still have bad days, there's not really anything you can do about that. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that I feel like I'm starting to come out of it now. So for the past two months maybe, three months, six months overall really, I haven't really got anything productive done, I've just been wasting my life away. And I think sometimes, you know, with disability it's hard not to do that, you know, like one of the toughest things I deal with disability is I know fine well if I just sat every day and watched Netflix and did nothing really with my life and just coped that nobody would really think less of me. And it's hard to get motivated when you know that people would find it, or at least people you care about, would find it perfectly fine if you just sat on your ass all day and didn't do anything because you've got a disability and life is tough. And you know, there are definitely times where I just want to give it all up and just, just chill and not do anything. But for me, and that is perfectly fine, if you have a disability that you struggle to deal with, you know, there are people out there with my condition even who have it worse than me, I completely understand, you know. But me personally, I, I want to do something, like I hate not being able to work, like a lot of people think not being able to work with a disability must be incredible. And I tell you what, for maybe the first year, it is because you have all this time, you don't have to worry, you've got no real commitments with no job. But this has been going on. 8 to 10 years really for me now without a job. I tried in the first few years to work in various, like I worked in a betting shop, I worked at Blockbusters, but I just couldn't cope with it. Not only because a lot of it was on my feet, but just the fatigue was just so bad. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, I always go off on tangents in YouTube videos, you'll know that if you've watched me before, is that I don't want it to be that way anymore. And because I'm struggling to do the covers consistently, I'm not going to give them up. I will still post covers here now and again, but I really just want to focus on something else. So while I'm not going to be doing any covers, I am currently working on a new release. I'm writing original stuff quite a bit at the minute. I really want to focus more on that. I love doing covers. It is great to showcase songs I like, whether they're popular or unpopular. I have a lot of fun making them, and I really do appreciate all the kind comments and shares and stuff I get on that. It's amazing, but I really want to focus on writing original stuff. So there will be an occasional cover, there will definitely be a release, I would like to think in the next three to six months, it takes a long time to write and record and produce and mix, I'll be doing it all myself, I don't, 
I went to a studio to do my first one, it was great, and the guy I recorded with was fantastic, but it was a rush to get it done. And I think being able to write in the production software is way better. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is that I want to start making way more videos about disability stuff. It's a big part of my life. I do my music videos and don't mention it really at all. So I want to start doing far more disability videos. I watch disability YouTubers, I follow a lot of disabled sort of advocates on Instagram. And seeing the stuff they do is amazing and it's really inspiring. So I want to start doing a lot more of that sort of stuff on this channel. I was going to make a new channel, but honestly, I don't see why I should. You see people with music YouTube channels, gaming YouTube channels, beauty, whatever. They still do vlogs, they still do lifestyle stuff. So I want to do that. If it's not for you, I'm sorry. I understand. I totally get it. But it's a big part of my life. And honestly, I want to share it with people. Because I think it will help people see that having a disability isn't something that necessarily, depending on what you have of course, should stop you from being able to pursue your dreams and your goals and stuff like that. So what kind of videos am I looking to do? I have a few ideas right now. One of the big ones I want to talk about is dating with a disability. I see a lot of my friends uh, online and off with disabilities have struggled with this when you're on Tinder or like because a big part of dating for me with the disability was using things like Tinder or Plenty of Fish or whatever, online dating obviously is a big part. And then it comes to, you know, when do you put your disability in your profile, do you mention it um, like further down the line and then potentially lose the person you might have gotten close to, you know, it's difficult. So that's one video idea I have. I want to do a day in the life video so you can see sort of how my CMT affects me day to day doing just, you know, menial, regular tasks. I think people would be surprised at how hard it can be just to live day to day with a disability. I want to do a video about my wheelchair, my walking aids, I get a lot of questions about that, so I think that would be an interesting video for people and then I could put links to where I sort of got them and stuff like that, I think it would help. Uh, another video I'd like to do is a question and answers uh, video, so if you have any disability questions or questions at all about anything I do, drop them in the comments. I think I have about 200 messages in my Facebook inbox right now, people have asked me various questions since I posted my original CMT video. So I was going to go through and pick out questions from there, obviously not mention any names of anyone who's asked me any, just pick out the questions and answer them. I think that could be an interesting video. I want to do a video about medication because honestly part of the past three to six months, uh, the issues I've been having with the fatigue and the struggling have been related to the, the, the medication I take, so I think that's a video I want to make. And uh, finally, I also want to do vlogs, which are difficult for me, they're very time consuming, which isn't really an issue, I do have a lot of time, but the energy it takes to film them when I'm out, you know, I barely have the energy to be out, just to be out in the first place. But I love doing them, I've done a few in the past where I've been out and about, they've been a lot of fun. Uh, my girlfriend who's been on the channel, Ali, I'm sure you uh, will like her. If you've seen the videos featuring her, I think I've done a girlfriend tag, boyfriend tag, whatever it's called, I'll put that up in the cards if you want to see that. Uh, she helps me with all this stuff and she's great and it's so much fun, it gives me a purpose to go out sometimes when I maybe when I maybe not feeling like it, so vlogs definitely something I want to do. What I really want to do is my local beach has a, a beach wheelchairs and I really want to give them a go and a review and a test just to see what they're like. I haven't been on the beach like properly on the actual sand for a lot of years, I can't walk on anything but firm concrete or like, you know, laminate floor, so it would be great to do that. By the way, sorry if you can hear the rain, I'm filming this in a conservatory, I've got, like, you know, I'm completely surrounded by windows, and typically 10 minutes after I've started filming, it started raining, so apologies for that. So yeah, that, I think that pretty much covers it. If you have any questions about anything, about how much I've been struggling or, or why, you can drop a comment down below, you can message me on my social medias if you want to DM me on Twitter, or D is it called a DM on Instagram? I'm 27, I'm an old man, I don't know. You can message me on my Facebook page, which is what a lot of people do, Sandboss with Music. All the links are down in the description if you want to check any of that out. I'll put them up here as well so you can see them in case you don't have to scroll down. And there will be in the end card of the video too uh, for Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'm using Twitter a lot more now, so be sure to follow me over there. But yeah, I really hope you understand. The music videos are a lot of effort, and I'm really struggling to do them. I definitely want to keep doing them with songs I absolutely love, but it won't be a consistent thing. And I think I definitely want to start doing more disability videos. I know I've said that in the past and I haven't followed through, but I've got a plan in place this time. Whenever I post any kind of disability post over on my Instagram or Facebook or whatever, people seem to respond really positively to it. It definitely gets the word of my rare disease out there, which I want to do more of because not many people know about it, even though it is quite common. Again, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the playlist in the cards. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you understand why I'm doing this. I hope you get it. 
I hope it doesn't make you unsubscribe. If it does, I completely understand. If you were just here for music, there's going to be less of it on the channel now. I'm sorry. But be sure to follow me on Spotify to keep up with all my originals if you want. I'll put a link down to my Spotify profile uh, in, the in the description below. So anyway, I think that about covers it, guys. Again, I really hope you understand. Be sure to like this video. It'll help other people on my channel see it, just so everyone knows what's going on. As well as subscribe, so if you are interested in any of the videos I've talked about that are going to be upcoming, you'll catch them uh, in your sub box when you're logging to YouTube. And don't forget to click the little bell as well if you're really eager to catch everything I put out, because every time I post a video, you'll get a notification on your phone or on your PC so you'll catch everything I do. Thanks so much again guys for being understanding, supporting me, I really do appreciate it. It's amazing to see people coming through my YouTube and Instagram and stuff every day. Thank you so much guys. Bye!